Okay, let us discuss polynomial 4.44. Let me first make the diagram. So we have a rod here. And this rod is basically connected through two spring. So let me make rod slightly darker. So this is the rod you have. One side you have one spring. Another side also you have a spring. And this can rod can rotate in this way. They are calling this point as O. Oh, this length of the rod is L. Now let me read the question. The question says find the frequency of a small oscillation of thin uniform vertical rod of mass m. So mass of the rod is m that is given to you. So let us say rod has a mass m. Thin uniform length l hinged at point o. So this rod is hinged at point o. So point o is basically hinged. And the combined stiffness of a springs is equals to k. So let us say a spring constant for this is k1, for this is k2. But the combined that is k1 plus k2 that is given to you. So you have been given k that is equals to combined k1 plus k2. You have to find the time period. Omega let us find. And then you can find time period. Time period is nothing but 2 pi by omega. Everybody knows. So my target is to find omega. So what we will do is, we will displace this rod by a small angle theta and let us see the situation. So this is the initial position of the rod. Now if we displace this rod by a small angle theta in the same horizontal line, so this is the initial horizontal line we have. If I displace this rod by some small angle theta, so this angle theta is a small angle. Now I write the forces. So this is my center of mass. This is a spring 1. And this is a spring 2. Are you getting? Now if you displace this rod by L a, a theta now this length is L naught so this length will be L naught so I can assume this length this length all are equal and this angle is theta so L, because this is the horizontal line this is a small arc of circle so I can assume this is a radius this is also a radius so this distance will be L naught into theta I repeat it or if you want to find exact answer you can also find in terms of sine theta and then in the latter terms we can uh, eliminate sine theta is equal to theta. So let us say you have this theta, this length is L naught, so this length will be L naught sine theta. Are you getting? So you write in terms of L naught sine theta. What you will do? You will write the triangle sine theta for this triangle. So sine theta will be this distance divided by L naught. So this distance is equal to L naught into sine theta. Are you getting? So this spring is basically a stretched by x. I can write again if you are not able to understand. Sin theta is equal to this x, this x divided by L naught. So x will be L naught sin theta. So this spring gets a stretched by L x and this spring gets uh, elongated by x. So basically you see this spring will try to push this side and this spring try to pull this side. So you will have total force acting on this uh, this rod in this direction is k1 into x. So here we will have force k1 into x. Here we will have force k2 into x. So basically rod gets pulled this side by k1 plus k2 into x. I can make the next diagram if you wish. So this is my situation of rod. So on rod there is a force that is acting in this direction that is k1 plus k2 into x and x I know what is the value of x 
k1 plus k2 into x. Now there is a force that is acting also mz. So I can take torque for the rod about this point O. So this point is O. So let us take right equation of rotation. So about torque about O. So if I write torque about O, so k1 plus k2 into x, this distance multiplied by this, this is L0 cos theta, this length is L0. So this length is L0 cos theta. So k1 plus k2 into x into L0 cos theta. And now this torque will decrease the theta, so we will have a minus sign. Now mz, so this distance will be uh, mz into, now this distance is L by L0 by 2 cos theta. Are you getting? So what will be this, this distance? This distance is L0 by 2. Uh, so this distance will be L0 by 2 sin theta. Are you getting? This distance be, will be uh, cos theta. Yeah. This distance will be, so mz plus, so torque of mz will be mg into L0 by 2. This distance, this angle is at theta, so this is sin theta, mg L0 by 2 sin theta. Once again, this is decreasing the theta, so this torque will be negative again. So let us say this torque is also negative. So what is the total torque? I can say I can take minus k1. K1 plus k2 is simply k. Kx L0 cos theta. I have taken this minus common because this torque is also negative. So I have taken minus common. So you will have mg L0 by 2 sin theta. Now things are easy and I can plug the value of x, x is what, L0 sin theta, you check here. So this will be k L0 square sin theta into cos theta, sin theta into cos theta plus mz L0 by 2 sin theta. Now you do first degree approximation and that is for a small theta, sin theta can be written as theta and cos theta can be written as 1. So if I do a approximation that the theta is a small, if theta is a small, I can write for a small theta I can write sin theta is simply equals to theta and cos theta is 1. Now if I plug these values in the A of equation, in the torque equation, so you will have minus k L0 square sine theta is simply theta plus mz L0 by 2 and sine theta is again theta. This is equal to i into alpha, i about point O is ml square by 3 and alpha is d2 theta by dt square. So from here you can write, so this 3 comes this side and ml square also comes, so you will have minus 3 by ml square, l is simply l naught, 3 by ml square into k l naught square plus mz l naught by 2 into theta this is equals to d2 theta by dt square. Are you getting? Now if I cancel, if I take ml square inside, 3 also inside, so I will have minus 3, 3k by m, L0 goes out, you will have plus g by 2L0, so 3z by 2L0 because 1 L0 cancels out, so M cancels out, so we will have into theta is equal to d2 theta by dt square. If I compare the standard equation, that is d2 theta by d omega square into theta, so this is omega square, so omega will be under root 3k by m plus 3z by 2L0. So, you will have time period will be So time period will be 2 pi by omega and omega is this under root 3k by m plus 
3z by 2 and not are you getting Okay, now we'll discuss the next problem.